The problem child has done it again. Jake Paul went toe to toe with a former MMA fighter, this time the legendary Anderson Silva. And in true Jake Paul fashion, he was able to remain undefeated by finishing the fight with a unanimous decision over the spider. Watching this fight play out live, it's hard not to have mixed emotions. On one hand, this has absolutely been the best test for Jake thus far, and it was actually very entertaining. Up until this point, I believe Jake Paul paid off his former MMA fighter opponents to take the fall and allow him to win and create more buzz and controversy so fans would continue to tune in in hopes that next time they'd see Jake get knocked out. But the fight seemed fair, and Silva didn't seem to be holding back. As a matter of fact, Anderson almost seemed like he was toying with Jake a majority of the match. Almost how a cat would play with a mouse it would be eating later. Silva caught Paul late in practically every round and there was even a round or two that seemed like Anderson could have ended the fight then and there had he had an extra minute to do damage. Jake seemed to curl up into a pathetic ball of desperation hoping the onslaught of fists stopped being hurled his way. That's not to take anything away from Jake though. He has been practicing his ass off in boxing and truly has dedicated himself to the sport. But Anderson Silva is in a league above him even if boxing is not his primary sport. My speculation to fixed fights returns though as in the 8th and final round, Anderson turned on the turbo jets and unleashed an onslaught onto Jake. Almost like he had been waiting all match to knock him out in grand fashion at the end. Jake ended up catching Anderson with a sweet combo and knocked him down, humbling Silva in the process. After returning to his feet, Anderson played a very passive style of boxing until the final bell rang and the scorecards were read. Even if we assume this was all legitimate, the unofficial score would peep in every round and always seem to favor Jake Paul. Despite the fact that Anderson Silva seemed to be the dominant force consistently in control and making Jake back up and eat uppercuts while cowering against the ropes or trying to force the clinch. Must be nice to have enough money to own the promotion that hosts all your boxing matches. But what do you guys think? Am I just being a jealous hater? Or is there something fishy going on with Jake Paul's boxing career? Let's get that discussion started in the comments section. This is the Athlete Academy. Thanks for watching.